The mean free path of a gas, Greek letter lambda, is the mean distance that a molecule of the gas moves before it collides with another molecule. Equation 8.23 shows how lambda is related to other variables for an ideal gas. So let's look at the equation and see if it all makes sense in terms of the kinetic theory. The gas constant R, the Avogadro constant Na, and the square root of 2 are all constants, so we'll ignore them and look at the three variables, sigma, p, and t. Now imagine we've got a collection of molecules all moving around, and let's think about the conditions that will decide how far one of them travels uh, before it hits another one. Let's think about collision cross-section sigma first. Imagine we're changing sigma, but keeping p and t constant. If sigma is larger, the molecule presents a larger target for the other molecules to hit. Molecules won't travel so far before they hit another one. So the larger sigma is, the smaller lambda is. So lambda is inversely proportional to sigma. Now let's think about pressure, P. Imagine we're changing P, but keeping sigma and T constant. If the gas is at high pressure, the molecules will be closer together, so they won't travel so far before they hit another one. So the larger P is, the smaller lambda is. So lambda is inversely proportional to P. Finally, let's think about temperature T. Imagine we're changing T, but keeping sigma and P constant. Increasing the temperature increases the mean speed of the molecules, but that on its own won't change the mean free path. The molecules will collide more frequently, but the distance they travel won't change. But increasing the temperature at constant pressure also makes the gas expand, so that the molecules are further apart, and that will increase the distance they can travel before they hit another one. So the larger T is, the larger lambda is. So lambda is directly proportional to T. So we can explain the form of equation 8.23 in terms of the kinetic theory. But remember this is for an ideal gas, which obeys the kinetic theory perfectly.